Good afternoon, guys. This is Eric Jarvis at Mad Scientist Auto, and I am so sick of getting questions about valve adjustment on B-Series cars. It is super easy. Um, I'm going to give you a quick rundown right now. Um, be a lot easier than trying to answer this 100 times through Messenger. Okay, so number one, the most important part of this is we go in the right order. Um, our engine's firing order is one, three, four, two. That's the order we need to go in here. So, start at the top of the belt. Top of the belt, over is one, two, three, four. So that means we're gonna adjust this thing in one, three, four, two. Okay, so where do we start? We're gonna start at that TDC on cylinder one. I'm already there. Maybe I need to backtrack just a little bit first as well. It's always nice to have the tools out that you're gonna need. All right, what are we gonna need, you ask? Well, first off, feeler gauges, obviously. Um, got them over here in this sweet little magnetic bowl. Uh, we're using a six and an eight um, for this particular cam. This is a fresh engine for a customer, Ryan Oliver. Um, they just come two camshafts, so we're gonna get them set in real, real, real well. We'll probably have to adjust them one more time before we fix the car up. But on top of that, we've got a, a 10 mil, you know, with an extension, so we can reach down in some real deep crevice. Um, we have a flathead screwdriver, something kind of skinny to get in there. We have this sweet tool that a good buddy bought for me a few years back, Jeremy Rice. Thanks, Jeremy. And we've got a sweet little pink light here, and that's to see in our crevice if we need to. So we're on TDC. We know our firing order now. Now it's super easy. So let's get started. Okay, I'm going to do grab my six. My smaller settings always on my intake on these engines. Um, the exhaust side has a lot more heat. There's a lot more expansion going on. So obviously, it needs a little more lash. Okay, so getting this nice little spot here, right out of the box. It's tight. I've got my feeler gauge has been in 90s to make it easier to get in. Oh man, I've never done this on video before. Done anything on video before, believe it or not. Alright, I'll usually spin the flathead until it stops and then turn it back maybe an eighth of a turn to where it's got a nice little drag to it. So we'll do the other side. Making funny faces because it's awkward. B series cars, you're a pain in the butt. There's our six, our intake side's done. I'm gonna go ahead and do the exhaust side as well. So I'm gonna grab my eight. Stick it in there. I'll turn my flat head enough so that I should be able to easily work my feeler gauge in there. There we go. Turn it back till it stops. Turn it back maybe, maybe a little more. Just a little bit of drag. One more left. Okay. As soon as I can get it out. All right, now we've got to take our sweet little tool. We're just going to snug it up good with this. Make sure you get in there. Hold. Don't let don't let your flathead spin because then you got to start all over again. That sucks. Snug her up good. We're not checking torque with this little guy, but we are going to check our torque. All right. So now we're going to take our torque wrench. Got an extension on here, so we may have to modify. We got 15 foot pounds. Respect's 14. We were already there, a little over torqued. Given this situation, that probably won't be too big of a deal. Exhaust side. Obviously, it might take you a little long. I've done this a lot. We're good there. We're good there. Okay. Always best to go back, give it one check, make sure you didn't snug it up any. We're good there. Now, the next step of this is what people get confused on. These engines are reverse rotational. So, 
where is our next spot on the firing order, right? So what we're gonna do, what we're gonna do, handy dandy wrench down here. We are looking at our cam gears. I'm gonna turn this bad boy over, which is actually hard on video, especially hard if you leave it in gear. So cylinder one will be pointed up here. Three, four, and two in this exact same manner that we just did cylinder one. Um, anybody needs any tips, feel free to make a comment here or uh, message me on Facebook. Uh, my name is Eric Jarvis, or you can email us, email us at madscientistauto at gmail.com. Um, thanks a lot. Glad, for, glad you watched.